Hi, Naturally Curly World. I'm Gerilyn. And I'm Christina. And today we are talking about hair type. Hair type is probably the number one thing that we get questions about on Facebook, on Instagram. Everyone just wants to know, what is my hair type? So we're gonna talk about the Naturally Curly hair typing system that we have on our website. It runs through wavy, curly, coily, and a little bit in between. And I think there's also a lot of misconceptions about hair type, so we're gonna talk a lot about the specifics today. The whole reason we do this like 2A, 2B, 2C thing is just to help people find other people who are like them mm -hmm. and then talk about this is what works for me, these products work for me, this haircut works for me. If you are a curly person, you can use the hair typing system just to figure out what that spiral or what that wave actually means to you. So if you do have a uh, type 3B, that means that you can fit your curl around like a pencil, you know what I mean? But if it's a little bit wider at 3C, you can put that curl around a Sharpie marker, for example. You just need to have kind of an idea of what you're working with size-wise, because once you determine the size, you can start moving into the porosity, um, the density, all of those other factors that will help you. So whether you're type 2A or 4B, that is only one part of your hair type. That's your curl pattern. But your hair type overall also includes your porosity, density, width, and length. Wavy hair is described as type 2 hair. Within wavy type 2, there's type 2A, 2B, and 2C. 2A is the loosest wave. It has a slight bend to it. It's definitely not straight, but it also doesn't form like defined S shapes or ringlets. It's more like the hair has a bend or a wave in it. And then type 2B, you're starting to see a little bit more of a de defined wave and type 2C, is you're gonna see definite S-shaped waves, but you might not get a lot of like the ringlets, the curls that you might think of when you say the word curly. Uh, wavy hair usually starts to wave below the eye, so whereas curly hair type three curls right from the roots with wavy hair, a lot of the time that um, S-shaped wave starts to form a bit further down and wavies struggle with frizz, they struggle with definition. Um, if the wind blows the wrong way, you're gonna lose your curl definition. A lot of the work goes into trying to encourage your hair to wave and then stay that way and not fall flat. And then with the type threes, I'm a mix of, I would say type 2C and 3A, so I can relate to both of these groups. But with 3A, you're starting to see the ringlets. They're kind of a larger jumbo chalk sized ringlet. And then with 3B, it's like Gerilyn said, the Sharpie sized ringlet. I think people call this Botticelli curls. 3C is starting to be more on the coilier side. So we describe 3C hair as being curly slash coily because it's really kind of both. It straddles the line. Curls when with type 3 hair aren't just gonna fall out. It's gonna stay curly kind of no matter what they do, but they're also fighting frizz. They want their curls to be defined all day long, and dryness is a bigger factor for type three than it is for type two. Type four hair has the same categorization between A, B, and C. So when you start off with type four A hair, it has a circumference of a crochet needle. Type four B hair has uh, the shape of a spring that would be inside like a ballpoint pen. And then you move over to 4C like I have, and it has the same shape as the spring that's inside of that ballpoint pen. It's just a little bit tighter. So we're just giving you a foundation and that's what the texture typing system is all about. It's a really good system. Check it out. But it's not for everybody. There are <laughs> definitely people who are like, I don't do any of that numbers and letters stuff. I just know my hair by the feel and the look of it, and that's good enough for them. And if you don't like the system, that's fine. You don't have to use it. But for some people, it's super helpful. And also, I feel like there's uh, a lot of of my 4C family, they're like, I'm beyond 4C, I'm 4Z. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're not on the chart. And like Christina's saying, that's totally cool. Like you know your hair and that's really the bottom line. 
for people that are kind of like, I really don't know where to start, that's why the texture typing system is in place. I would say pretty much everyone has more than one curl pattern. So that's another area where people get really stuck. They send us all their photos and they're like, which is my hair type? Am I 3A? But the truth is you're probably 2C, 3A, and 3B. Everyone has different textures. Everyone wants to know what their one curl pattern is, but I feel like we should move beyond that. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. realize that there isn't one perfect product for 3B hair, mm -hmm. but having the conversations that we have, it just makes it easier when you reference your hair because when you say, I have curly hair, curly means different things to everyone. <laughs> yes. So this system just helps you narrow that down a little bit more so that we're kind of on an even playing field when we're talking about our hair. So if you have any comments or any questions for us, definitely leave them in the comment section below. We also have our hair type quiz that you can take so you can get some more information about your specific pattern and texture. If we could just sit here and identify every single person's hair type by their photos, we would, but that's a hard thing to do. So I recommend taking our quiz mm -hmm. and you can fill in all the information and it even incorporates porosity and things like that. So I highly recommend taking our quiz. That'll be linked below in the description. Join us next time because we're going to talk about why your hair won't grow. It's a good one. You'll want to see that. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.